This video is very simple. We're going to show you three points. Shot selection, court position, and recovery. That's all we're going to talk about. Those three factors, which is the basis for success to go to the next step to build the point. Establishing your style of play involves many contributing factors your technical strengths and weaknesses, your movement skill, your comfort zone, and even your personality and temperament all play an important role in defining yourself as a player. Without changing the type of player you are, we will show you how to become more effective working with the skills you have. We begin by looking at ways of taking control and match play. What can you control? The sun, the wind, the court surface, your opponent's decisions and actions are all examples of factors you cannot control. Sure, you can adjust your game to the conditions and have some influence on the choices your opponent makes. But in general, these are elements of match play that are beyond your total control. What you can control is how you respond to your opponent's decisions and your own decision making, such as the direction of your shots, the spin, pace, and trajectory of your shots, and the tactics and strategy you use. Focusing on these factors you can control and making better decisions will be the keys to winning with your game. Controlling the center of the court serves as the foundation from which all strategies are built. This concept teaches you how to position yourself on recovery based on the shot that you hit. The objective of positioning correctly in the court is to eliminate open court opportunities for your opponent as you build the point. Let's take a closer look at how this process works. In singles match play, the server typically positions close to the hash mark on both the deuce and the add courts. When the server is staying back, this position allows the server to quickly and easily recover after the serve to a position halfway between the returner's best possible shots. The player returning serve will position halfway between the best possible serves taking into consideration the spin action of the right-handed server. In this rally, Greg hits the ball down the center of the court to Raul. Where should Greg position on the recovery? In this diagram, the two ropes represent the two best shots Raul can hit from that position. So Greg should position behind the hash mark at the baseline to be halfway between Raul's best shots. How does Greg's position change when he hits the ball deep into Raul's forehand corner? Let's look at the two most extreme shots Raul could possibly hit from this position. If Raul chooses to hit the ball down the line, the furthest Greg must cover to his left is no wider than the single sideline. Anything wider would be out of play. However, in the other direction, if Raul hits a cross-court angle, then Greg would have to cover much wider than the single sideline to run down that shot. For Greg to position behind the hash mark would not put him in position halfway between Raul's possible shots. Greg must recover several steps to his right of the hash mark. Now Greg is positioned at the center of Raul's best possible shots. This time Greg's hit the ball to Raul's backhand corner. Now to Greg's right, he must cover to the extent of the single sideline. But again, Raul has the ability to potentially pull Greg off the court with an angle cross court. Greg's recovery position shifts towards the opposite corner from where he hit the ball, to again guard against the angle and to position at the midpoint of Raul's possible shots. Study this diagram to review what you've learned. Based on the shape of the court, when you hit in the direction of shot selection number one, Find recovery position number one. When you choose shot selection number two, 
Move to recovery position number two. And when you hit to shot selection number three, find recovery position number three. All I want you to do is get the feeling of the luck of the court. And what do I mean by that? Without thinking about it and without looking down at your feet where you're actually standing. When you hit a ball, you have to go to another position. Watch your ball in flight, watch the opponent, and sort of flow to the position that you think you can hit your best shot from. That's all it means. Get to the best position after you hit the ball. If you do it in practice, you'll find yourself getting into that position without even thinking about it. That's what we call the look of the court and feeling where to go without thinking about it. It is extremely important to train your eye to the look and perspective of being in good position. The camera's point of view now represents your eyes and the look from the recovery position. You've hit the ball down the center of the court, and this is what it looks like from the correct recovery position. In this situation, you've hit the ball to Raul's forehand corner. Ask yourself, are you in good position? If you said no, you are correct. Here's the look you should have on recovery based on that shot selection. Now you've hit the ball to the other corner. Are you in good position now? Again, this is the look you should have on recovery for that shot selection. Most players have no idea how little time they have to recover. On average, it takes less than a second and a half for the ball to travel from your racket to your opponent. This is all the time you have to fully recover your court position. With such little recovery time to work with, it is important to understand what shots are good for your position. First of all, hitting a shot that is good for your court position means you have hit the ball in a direction or in such a way that allows you to fully recover before your opponent's next shot. In this situation, Raul hits a cross-court return of serve and finds the correct recovery position before Greg hits the next shot. This is an example of Raul hitting a shot in a direction that was good for his court position. In this scenario, Greg has hit the ball down the center to Raul. Referring back to the diagram, the white X at the bottom of the screen represents Raul's position. You can see that no matter what direction Raul chooses to hit, he is only a few steps from correct recovery. Based on where he is positioned in the court, Raul can choose any of the three shot selections and still be able to recover in time. In this point, Greg hits the ball to Raul's forehand corner. If Raul hits the ball back cross court, it would be the best shot for his position because hitting that direction gives Raul the shortest distance to correct recovery. However, Raul wants to change direction in the rally by hitting down the line to Greg's backhand. Hitting down the line gives Raul the furthest distance to travel to good recovery position. But notice the high looping topspin ball that Raul hits. By hitting that type of shot, Raul is able to buy enough time to fully recover and to continue the point. Though the direction wasn't necessarily good for his position, Raul hit the ball in such a way to give himself time to recover. In addition, the high ball to Greg's backhand may produce an opportunity ball for Raul. Raul should be looking to capitalize at this point. Here we have another example.